good morning guys so i'm out doing my deck today i'm going to lay it out and get a lot of it done um i'm doing a 12 by 12 two by six so this is going to be more of a temporary deck um, I'm gonna start with a 12 by 12 and see if I can I can live with it or if I need to make it a little bit bigger while I live here and build everything but I'm gonna do this deck pretty simply um, I'm just gonna since I'm working by myself for most of the day I'm just gonna I'm gonna lay it out and then um, that'll tell me where I'll need to put my my uh, my post I'm gonna dig them down a little bit back fill them with some gravel and um, put four by four treated in the ground to support so just a standard standard uh, almost floating deck so um that's what we're gonna get to that harbor freight thing was terrible i still haven't finished the roof <laughs> so i put the frame together i'm doing the boards lengthwise this way so i inset them that way and uh i'm gonna put a one in the middle and then I'll be able to arrange it where I want and mark it off for my posts. See that I went around and I marked it and after I marked all of these I just pushed this whole thing down about 12 inches and uh, cut the holes. I'm in rock in some of these places so I'm gonna have different different size 4x4s four four and then I have gravel that I can level things out with. But I'm about ready to place the post now. So I'm pretty sure I was so tired yesterday I did a really bad job of explaining what I was doing with this deck. So I assembled it flat and then I did this side first. I've only put two um, three inch deck screws in each side of the post. I'm gonna firm that up here in a minute. I'm also gonna do braces um, through the middle and we'll see if that's enough. Um, it sits a lot higher than what I thought. Which is really good because you from up here you see the you see the the river so much better so anyway today i am going to brace the sucker up um i'm going to do some cross joists and um, i'm going to deck it but i hope to burn this wood i've seen other people like um wild wonderful off-grid they did this awesome a-frame cabin and they just uh used a torch to darken their wood and coated it with something like linseed oil or something so that's the plan for this I know that torching takes a little bit of time I kind of just wish I just deck it but I want it to look really nice so that's what we're working with I've got plenty of nice grass growing in especially over here just from grass seed about a month ago a little less so this is where I'm gonna put the camper and then my uh, my septic's over that way, so this will be a, a nice, comfortable place. All right, so I've got my centers braced. If anybody's watching and you wonder why they're staggered, it's so that you can um, drill your screws in or hammer your nail in, and it provides more stability. But this thing's strong as an ox. There were a couple that I wasn't going to add, but I thought nobody ever complains about having a deck that's too sturdy. So I just went ahead and added braces all the way across through the middle. Kind of figure I'm, I'm gonna have to take a few passes at this. It's gonna be like one of those little things you want to do that takes a long time. But as expected, this has taken a lot more time than I thought. But it's kind of fun. What do you think? I think it turned out really well. That's kind of the darker finish. It's a little bit lighter. 
I wanted to kind of experiment and see what I like the best. That one's even a little more light. I imagine once it's oiled, it'll look beautiful. So I just did the top, so when you look down, you won't look through and see yellow wood. So I guess it's time to deck it. I took a long time doing these cross members, thinking that you'd see through and you'd see it, but I don't think you do. If I had it to do over, I probably wouldn't do that again. But this is going on super easy. I'm uh, doing uh, three or four or five um, planks at once, um, just on the ends. And then I'll use, a, I'll use a snap line to make sure I'm on it over here. I want everything to be just uniform. I'm recessing my screws a little bit to make it a little bit nicer. This isn't the best lumber. Um, I got it from... Home Depot for $11 a piece, which was about half price. So it was really picked through and kind of marred up, but on one side, it was usually good. So that's what we're doing. Besides throwing sticks. So those of you who live in a place where you have to drive an hour to get to a hardware store, you'll feel my pain. <laughs> missing about four boards but it came out really nice square and level solid as anything and um, the thing that I really love about this deck I had a feeling I would but once you stand up the orientation is so much different so from here got a full view of the lake I'm gonna clear all that out well by repelling and stuff the way I did this but this is beautiful seeing my house is gonna sit up higher so there'll be there'll be other decks and I'm kind of just thinking I might just start building some decks here and there because they're easy a couple half days is what I got and uh, maybe they'll end up being permanent terraced this thing's solid enough for me to build a little tiny house on 12 by 12 solid as anything glad I supported it a little bit more but I guess I'll be making a run to the hardware store. I also need propane. That um, torch, it works really good. I know a lot of people have like the five gallon um, units or whatever that you can do this stuff with. I just have the little small one for burning stuff around here. And it'll work. But I think before I do, you know, a crazy amount of boards, I'm going to get a bigger torch. That's the small one that I have. But amazing so these deck screws were, were really great and this is my new impact driver I love it I've been working for two days now mainly screwing everything and I'm not even out of a battery yet so we've got the deck all squared away just needs to be torched which I'm about to do I ended up having to go back to the store and they were out of 12 footers, so I had to get 14 footers. Left a little lip on this. But 10 screws per board. It is solid. Hi guys, I wanted to show you what I got done yesterday. Scorching this with this torch takes forever. I spent probably three hours doing that last night came down and had a fire and relaxed and just burnt wood but it goes really slow i just went to the hardware store and i was going to buy one of the bigger ones where you can hook up the um the five gallon propane thing too but he said the torch isn't any bigger so i'm just going to suffer it out with this thing today and get this thing all fixed look how beautiful it is out here I can't believe we're going to be moving out here in the next day or so. It feels surreal, but it's one little, one little thing done. We'll be living out here. So our next video will be about moving the camper down here and getting it set up and getting situated down here. And then I'll be doing lots of stuff. So. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I looked on my thing this morning and I think I had plus three or four or 500 in the last few days. So I'm, I can't believe it, but I really appreciate it. And 
hopefully I'll give you something worth watching. I wanted to show you the difference with dry and wet. Most of the treated stuff I got was probably too wet. The last four boards I got was dry. So, it's all done. The last four boards were dry and they went so much faster. These others were wet. I would definitely really recommend making sure your boards are dry and that'll really save. Otherwise, I think a normal person by himself could get this done in less than two days like me. So anyway, that's the deck. I still need to put um, oil into this, but it's really pretty. My plan is to build several terrace decks going here and there, and that'll work while I have my camper here before I build my house. But I'd love to eventually have decks going down there so I can enjoy the view. I'm gonna cut those trees back so we have a full view over here, but it's definitely a place I love. Thank you very much for watching German Shepherd Ranch. If you're new here, um, that's Delta and I'm Abram. And I really thank you for watching. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. And I promise to try to get a little bit better on uploading weekly content at least. So I should be getting busy around here.